Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy. Gonna have a hybrid head-to-head -head comparison video for you today. Recently done a video uh, reviewing the new Epic Flash Hybrid. I was very impressed with it. Very long hitting golf club. So I was interested to see how that may stack up against the M6 Hybrid. So I've got two, four hybrids. The M6 is 22 degrees. The Callaway comes standard at 21. So I've upped the loft and the Callaway to 22 to get the lofts exactly the same. I'm gonna put them head to head and maybe just see which one is a little bit easier to hit, a little bit higher to launch. Is it always about distance with a hybrid as we know because we're trying to gap as well? but maybe just see which one is a little bit more user-friendly. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the TaylorMade M6. So as I say, it's a number four, it's 22 degrees. So technology in the M4, we've got the, the sort of um, speed pocket in the sole of the club, just directly behind the club face. That's what's gonna help a little bit on those low center hits. So we know M6 is a little bit more of a, a distance sort of orientated club. We've got the twist face technology there with just trying to help on those slight miss hits. So let's get some shots hit. Sits lovely behind the golf ball, like that sort of black with that silver front edge. Not a, not a pure strike there, but it wasn't bad and it's flighted okay. Just turned up that left-hand side. So you know maybe with the hybrids, they've got the tendency to be a little bit more of that draw bias, don't we, in, in terms of that right to left there. More so than probably an iron. That was a nice strike. High towering flight, as you expect, a bit more neutral. Better strike there, so that's flown up onto that green. A little bit easier. Really nice sort of feel to that. That carried about that 218 mark, which is sort of what I expect with a four hybrid. Okay, not quite as solid as that last one. A little bit more off the bottom toe section, just turns it a little bit. a solid strike really nice ball flight straightest one of the lot so far good solid strike so it should go a bit further as it does we always know that strike always plays a massive part to that ball speed and how that ball sort of spins yeah i'm carrying out 225 just getting that little bit more distance there through that strike okay that's a nice solid one just turning over a fraction there yeah just missing up that left side okay so there's a batch of shots hit with the M6 Rescue. Felt really good. Flight was really nice and high. I think you got a little bit of stopping power there. Just a bit of turnover, which we know with hybrids, they have that tendency to do that. And obviously my shot is a little bit more on that left side, so it doesn't sit in my uh, criteria quite as nice as maybe somebody else. But let's move into that Epic and see how that stacks up against the M6. Okay, so Epic Flash. So we're seeing some different technology in here. We've got flash face technology, which we've seen in the drivers. So that's helping with ball speed. Uh, across the entire face, so again, helping to be a little bit more forgiving those miss hits. We've got some internal tungsten happening here, as well as some external tungsten, which is helping a little bit more with that swing weight. We've got jailbreak technology, so those two rods sitting just directly behind the club face is supporting the crown and the sole, putting more energy back through the golf ball. So quite a bit happening in the flash. Um, sitting it down by the golf ball, it's it's a little bit of a bigger profile than M6. It does look very confident and inspiring, and I like the fact that there isn't really any sort of offset with this particular club. So the, the face looks to be sat quite a bit forward of the front of the hosel. Obviously, it always applies to be a little bit, or it looks to be a little bit more when you've got a little bit more loft on this. So this comes in standard at 21 degrees, but I have upped the loft through the neck sleeve to make it 22, which is the same as the M6 to keep the test as equal as we can. Just get this one a hit. Okay, just turn that, but that was a very different feel through that. That's a very solid feel. And that looks to be going a little bit further. I did just turn that over, like I said. Does give me the impression I've got less chance of doing that. That could be a bit of a, probably dug myself a hole now. I'm probably gonna turn everything over that left-hand side now. Uh, but it does give me a pressure because the face is sat more forward that I've got less chance of really turning that one over. Okay, that wasn't the greatest of strikes. That was a little bit off that toe. 
and that's done very well there. That is moving out there quite considerably, considering that was the, probably the worst strike I've hit out of all of them there, to be honest. Again, just turn up that left, but typically would see that more from that toe strike as well. Okay, a little bit bottomy. Definitely just move my strike around, but again, that's done really well. I'm, I'm very impressed with the forgiveness of this Epic, and I think I saw that with my review video. Um, it was very user friendly when you did miss, there was definitely some support around there. So whether that's the flash phase kicking in, it's got the jailbreak in there, that internal tungsten could be sort of helping out or it could be a little bit of everything. Obviously we've got some carbon on the head, so that's re saving weight, redistributing that weight, which will be through that, um, maybe like a little bit of tungsten, that bottom section. So there's quite a lot happening with this club. Again, not perfect on the strike. I'm not quite find the middle of the golf club that is very consistent of getting up on that distance. That's a better strike. Again, just moving up that left side. Okay, so definitely a little bit more length, I think, on those. Okay, so there's five shots hit with the Epic Flash. Let's go and look at the numbers. I can just compare a little bit between that and the M6. Okay, so just looking into some numbers, M6 on the top, flash on the bottom. So looking at ball speed there, you see just one mile an hour extra on that ball speed with the flash. And to be fair, I didn't get, I, didn't, I don't think I felt like I really hit the middle of the golf club as good as the M6 there, to be honest. So um, clearly the first one with the M6 just dropped off quite a bit, 136. But I say, I didn't really feel like I got some brilliant strikes with the flash, but it's kept that ball speed up, so maybe just testing that forgiveness a little bit more. Spin number, just a fraction lower with a flash, but not much, and in a pretty good area for a four hybrid. Um, peaking out a little bit higher with the M6, 34 against 32, and distance-wise, 220 against 223. So just edging a tiny bit of ball speed, uh, sorry, distance with that flash, just with that fraction lower spin, and that fraction more in that ball speed. Right guys, so there we go. There's um, two sort of more the forgiveness bracket of hybrids and more ease of use with the Epic Flash and the TaylorMade M6. Really impressed with that flash, to be honest. I think I've really tested the forgiveness of that. I don't feel like I really got one out of the middle of the, middle of the stick with that particular batch of shots there, but it seemed to be doing holding its own in terms of those drop-offs in the numbers on those slight sort of miss hits. Does look a little bit more user-friendly. The club face is quite a considerable size bigger than the M6, so if you're a golfer that likes to see something pretty big behind that golf ball give you that confidence you've got more of that hitting area then maybe that is a good option to have a little look at my review video i saw some really big distances i middled it a little bit better in my review video to be honest i saw some big distances there um, and obviously there's a few of the comments there is well do you want that that hybrid to go further you know all about gapping from your irons into your hybrids and yet you've absolutely got a point there you have got to get that gapped in there but i think definitely a very easy of use of getting that ball in the air some golfers may even have say a three hybrid crank the loft down a degree through the next sleeve on the and the epic flash and have it as a bit of a fairway would replace me even a three wood replacement because they like that shorter shaft of a hybrid against that fairway wood and that might be a good option for a lot of golfers again that little bit of the heads built around just enable them to fly it a little bit more but you've got some good ball speed with that just to help you get that little bit of distance you might want from that sort of fairway option okay post your comments down below let me know your thoughts as always between that particular review there or comparison i think for me i would if if i'm looking for a club to be easy to hit easy to launch bit of forgiveness i'm probably going to go down that epic flash route it is a bit of a bigger look but i think if you soon get past that possibly if you don't quite like that bigger look but as the ease of use i think you can soon sort of get used to that look and i like to have that little bit of adjustability in the next leaf so i can dial that loft in and out as i want to okay thanks very much for watching appreciate you watching as always if you haven't subscribed smash that subscribe button ring the bell for future no future notifications be one of the very first ones to watch content as soon as it lands on the channel also follow me up on my social media platforms, both Instagram and Twitter. And the handles there are at MN Golf Coach. And hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.